Hey friend, it's Tuesday morning. Welcome to another episode of Daily Slack, uh, my daily video series as I try to share with you the process of making my Slack Life BC web series happen. And we're out here by the lake. Waking up here was pretty incredible. We're gonna head back into town now and uh, we got a lot going on today. So today's gonna be a busy one, but uh, we're very thankful to be out here this morning. It's pretty special. Uh, wrapped up a quick editing session here at the apartment and uh, now I'm gonna head into Vancouver to meet up with the slack landing guys and discuss episode ideas for the series and also drop off my a7s and hopefully hopefully get it fixed I like driving into the city because it means I get a nice hour and a half to catch up on podcasts. Even if it is something that, that is my forte. Uh, a year and a half ago now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we Down here in the city, gonna come over to the camera shop right over here and see if they can do anything about my little A7S. I don't even know if these guys do camera repairs, but on the Sony website, they're the camera shop that came up. I'm definitely expecting that they're gonna have to send it away. That's kind of like a guarantee to me at this point. Just dropped off my camera. No word yet on uh, what cost it's gonna be or even what's wrong. They said they'd let me know in a week from now. It's gonna be pretty frustrating to wait a week especially because I have stuff I need to be shooting, but uh, we'll figure it out. I'm here at the Slack House now, which is like this house here behind me, which a bunch of the Slackliners went in on and rented together. So let's see what Spencer and the guys. The one part that might make your blood, blood go in, that's the like the first thing you do. <coughs> as soon as you cross that little bench in the ball. Oh yeah, of course. It's not a game with me. Michael, should I? No, those haul bags, are, they yeah. are not good to haul. Like, no, not good not. to haul, but they are not comfortable for your back and stuff. It's not totally for hauling, it's for shutting Most up and suffering and just like hauling because yeah. if you need that much shit up there then it's That's worth a, it's carrying it up there. I can buy like an 80 or bigger bag because a lot of the bags that are even 80 liters are like 80 to 100 or something because they've got so many. I'll pick that up tomorrow. Yeah. Shotgun? The shotgun of yours? No. First no. one on the line? Shotgun? Shotgun. I don't know. <laughs> you need them for something like that. Sun. Oh, sun. Sun. Seriously, they're really broken. I'm waiting for my new pair. Oh, okay. Just they were broken out. already. Yeah. yeah. They're like really broken. So, man, are we going to make this happen? Yeah, we're going to make it happen, man. What are we doing on Wednesday? Uh, we're going to hike up the lions and rig a big high line. I guess the new Canada's longest high line. <laughs> which, which, how long is that? It's 375 meters, as far as we know, but we're gonna bring 420 <laughs> just in case. 420 meters of webbing, wow. Mm -hmm. Times two, cause mm -hmm. there's a backup. That's right. So we're heading up on Wednesday and we're mm -hmm. gonna rig this project. How long have you been wanting to do this? Uh, for a long time. The, when I first started slacklining, like you start thinking about areas you can go around here and the lines was kind of a joke. Because you can like see it from the city. Yeah, the whole well, time. it's per it's perfect. It's yeah. like obvious. Like there's just it's the most obvious thing to do. So we uh, have to go and do it. Cool. That's it. Well, bye bye. Oh! Bye bye. Yeah, tent and. Okay, I uh, just finished meeting with the Slack Life guys, and we're here in another area of Vancouver. 
and I'm going to shoot an interview real quick. Then I'm going to head back to Chillac and I'll recap on what we all just discussed uh, about our plans for this Lions High Line, which we're going to start on Wednesday. So, pretty crazy. And then the sponsorship for that just wasn't there. So, a few riders awfully badly hurt. Yeah. Can you explain to me what's in this room? Right. So, this is a liquid handling robot. And what this is, is it has a series of mandrels that we put disposable plastic pipette tips on. And then we have plates. And here's an example of a plate. And these plates uh, are, will hold samples. And they, they look like this. This has 96 wells, 8 by 12. And we have different kinds of them. Basically, we put samples in them. And we process them by doing enzymatic reactions with DNA and using heat uh, and different pHs and whatnot. And we can do chemical reactions to prepare DNA for sequencing. Um, other important aspects of it are changing temperature. So here, Phil, my engineer, is doing some uh, novel things involving heating. This is actually doing something with the tips, but we, we heat and cool things a lot and so forth. This is, a, this is about the largest or the top in the top two of sequence, DNA sequencing facilities in Canada uh, by sequencing machine capacity. How many DNA bases can we sequence per day? This is the mighty Illumina HiSeq X. Uh, these are called the, the, the HiSeq X. So this is, uh, we have five of these. Um, anyway, this can sequence the human genome a day, something like that, anyway. Uh, so it's, it's if, if, if not even higher, like I say, the math keeps changing. But yeah, these are amazing instruments. Uh, it's, uh, all the awesome. It. Cheers. Take care. So I've kind of put my name out there to some groups uh, that I'm willing to take some freelance shooting gigs as of late. Yeah, so what I just shot there was a quick interview. I mean, I'm really stoked that it was at least interesting material. And uh, after the interview, the uh, guy was kind enough to show me around his office. It's like a crazy lab up there. I had no idea that's what I was even walking into. But uh, really fascinating stuff. Now it's time to head back to Chilliwack. Back here at the apartment now, and uh, we've been going at it hard all day. But uh, still have still have more computer work to do. And uh, I'll share with you how that meeting with the Slack Life guys went. I'm here now. It's almost 10 o'clock and uh, just finished processing the interview that I shot today and doing some admin stuff. So as I said, uh, let me just recap on our little meeting at the Slack House today. Okay, in our little get together there at the Slack House, we were talking about lots of things. Uh, but one of the main things that was happening right there was we were planning for this new highlighting mission that we're going to go on. Uh, starting on Wednesday, which is today's Monday. So two days from now, we're, and uh, when these guys go and suffer to rig something massive, uh, it's kind of a shame if we don't document it properly. Uh, so I'm gonna head out with those guys. It looks like it's actually gonna be for five or six days. Uh, and another thing that I did uh, was chatted with Spencer and some of the guys about how they felt uh, about potential sponsors. Uh, so there's a few ideas that we have of different brands we could bring on board. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that those guys felt good about it because I'm going to take a longer portion of time to explain my methodology uh, with sponsors. Uh, but it's pretty important to me. Uh, it's actually critical that we're all on the same page with it and that we feel good about it uh, before we put any efforts towards anything because that's uh, that's going to be a pretty key factor to how this all comes together. Uh, but another thing is we were brainstorming different uh, episode ideas because when I go forward and pitch this to people, I need to have concepts of what the episodes could be, uh, something that I've never had to do before. So that's interesting because when we go on these projects, I want to be moved by the story and capture what's actually happening. I don't want to like come up with a plan ahead of time, but at the same time we need structure enough and we need character descriptions, something something I've never had to do before, but I need to describe these characters and their interactions and kind of why that this would be an interesting story to follow. And again, we have untethered to point to. Having a good description of what you're setting out to make is actually super critical. So that's uh, one of the things that I tried to get on a better page with, with Spencer and the guys. But now I'm honestly a little bit unclear on how I'm going to get all this together uh, because we're leaving for the Lions uh, to, on Wednesday. Uh, so this is all all happening really quick. And so I'm a little nervous that if I wait till after the Lions to start sending out more of my pitch material, I just don't feel like that's enough time. So I really have to use tomorrow well. Like I really feel the heat on that one. Tomorrow's got to be a big day. Um, Okay, thanks for watching another daily slack. Really appreciate the support. And uh, today's happy crappy is, my crappy uh, is I definitely feel the crunch time uh, before we leave on this trip on Wednesday. Uh, 
and I really need to get some work done tomorrow. And that's, that's kind of crappy because I wish I had like another month to be prepping this stuff. Um, uh, but, uh, it'll also be a good motivator to get it done. And, uh, my happy was, is, what is my happy? What am I thankful for today? And my happy was waking up next to the lake this morning was pretty incredible. It's just like so cool to get out. And, uh, I feel so thankful to have a, a peaceful place uh, that we can go to really, really thankful for that. Okay guys, until tomorrow, remember life's better when you make stuff.